uh, Ben and Mac are back. And then we've got one of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, she is a super talented anchor. She's also a Rangers super fan. The one and only, the great Teresa Woodard joins us now. Hey, T. Wow, what an honor it is to be on your first show. I am thrilled to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Well, as soon as we knew one of our topics was going to be your world champion oh, Texas yeah. Rangers, and I mean your world champion <laughs> Texas Rangers, Teresa, we had to get you on the, on the show. So let's start with this. What, what do you think about this hot start that they're off to? And then we can go around the panel. All right, so I'm ready for a repeat, okay? That's what I'm feeling like. Already? But no, I, I seriously, I know it's way too early, way too early to start talking about that. But really the way that 2024 has started feels a lot like the way 2023 ended, and I am in for it. And I will tell you, there's two names that are sticking out to me right now already. Marcus Simeon, I mean, what a performance he has had. And I feel like as goes Simeon, so go the Rangers. And then how about Cody Bradford? I mean, where did he come from to have these great pitching performances? And like any good Rangers fan, I will also say I am just thrilled that we have really beaten up on the Astros for at least a couple of first games in this series. I told you guys, she's a super fan. <laughs> you got it. Mac and Ben, what do you think? Uh, I think they're kind of like what Teresa said. They picked up where they left off. And I think early on, I mean, what are we in April? Just don't get blown out. And this, this, this thing's a 10-month regular season. So just keep hanging on and sticking it out and keeping your head above water. And I think this team will be a playoff team again. Benny? Yeah, it's, uh, it's so exciting. Uh, White Lankford is so unbelievable yeah. to watch. Uh, such a phenom. But the thing that has me concerned about the Rangers is the regional sports television deal that, <laughs> uh, and all of their concern over that because – uh, yeah, they really weren't able to go out and address their needs this offseason. And for the first time ever, I saw Rangers ownership deferring money into next year, which to me is a little scary. And so, look, if they can stem the tide and, you know, look, they'll get uh, maybe Max Scherzer's back in, in June, you know, DeGrom's back in August. They got Tyler Molly coming back maybe in July. They can, they can make it through that, but they still didn't really get to address the need for a closer. And um, that's concerning to me. So I think we're going to be sweating some of these out later in the year. Well, listen, that's the one thing, you know, at the start of this season, what we've seen from LeClerc. I mean, it, it does give you pause, right? And the fact that they still, to me, the fact that they won that championship, despite what that bullpen looked like at the end of last season, is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen in Major League Baseball. And we are seeing some echoes of that early on. Hadn't heard a whole lot. Um, I, I think the overriding theme, though, is, and as it will go the rest of the year, in Bochi we trust mm -hmm. because they just keep stepping up in different ways and being there for opening night when they just created a teleportation machine and brought us all back to that championship run with the way they won that opening game was absolutely fantastic.